welcome. Nico here with your Pathwatchers report for the incoming wave that is here to stay for all populations, articulated and illuminated by the tower and once again the sun. We see a massive displacement in the works. Please remember to observe these energies responsibly. The return to purity, innocence, and the true natural course of the path is happening now. The energies articulated by the sun begin to oust the artificial and distorted experiences of the everyday. This may feel unsettling if there is a particularly strong attachment to a circumstance that is not in the highest interest of all concerned. This ousting and replacing will be creating and attracting new experiences of true matches, upgraded models, and more occurrences in alignment with higher levels of the self in conjunction with the lower self. It is not the separate dualistic experience of the old way of lower self versus higher self, ego versus soul, and turn taking. It's all at once. That is the tower. Let go of attachments to narratives, scripts, and white whales. Remember, the tower only feels forceful and shocking because it is a removal and release of that which must go but may be affixed or attached in such a way that it was in resistance to the natural progression. A gentle release brings a peaceful exchange of eventualities. Higher eventualities. Some stories, recent and not so recent, will be dismantled and concluded without any resolution that appeals to the conditioned ego, and some will be dismantled and dissolved without any resolution at all. Take care when interacting with others who may be struggling to integrate those experiences. If the lower mind begins to feel unstable due to these shifts, take a step back. Command the lower reactive levels. Stop talking. Stop thinking. Stop mystery solving. Align with the higher self. Investigate the new. Don't dissect the old. Connect. The alternative paths being presented this week are better. All beings are being brought back to their through line or connecting theme, course, and trajectory of their spiritual evolution. Depending on your generation, vibration, and level of consciousness, the experience and means by which these experiences take place may vary. This is a gratuitous grace for all. Some are arriving at outcomes through an accelerated boost opportunity, some are arriving in timelines that were always their through line after extended periods of detours and off-roading. Some are arriving at their through line for the first time since birth in this incarnation. Enjoy it. Take care. Okay, Cancerians, now that we know uh, what is landing, I guess you could say, for this week when it comes to the incoming wave, which remember, incoming waves are here to stay for the entire population. It's not going away after this week. It's gonna be here and it's here. So how is this gonna be, however, shaping the week of the ninth for you? Well, the archetypal theme or the background energy that is actually affecting the entire experience that you have in all areas is the world upright coming in and basically bringing upgrades, bringing those updates and level ups. Remember, the world is all about a successful transition and completion to a completely, not a new chapter, but a whole new book. And it's quite perfect, actually, when you think about what we talked about, because the world card upright is a refinement, and yes, in the many cases, it can also bring a displacement an update and an upgrade to the experience that we have. In the background energy of everything that you've got going on, you may be noticing that the qualities of all experiences that you have are amping up, especially when it comes to those which are absolutely for the positive, because with the... Hello, Rambo. Especially when it comes to the opportunities to actually start to experience what we might call whole package deals. However, when it comes to the idea of whole package deals, the universe does not 
hand out things in whole packages. No, they are on experience to experience bases. But if there are spaces in your life or experiences in your life that you might deem to be, hmm, yeah, almost there, maybe 80% of the way, you might notice that uh, the this will do or perhaps the 20% that we've compromised on or things that are no longer working for that dis experience being displaced for that upgrade, being displaced for that level up, replacing things all over the place. Now, with the world card upright as an archetypal theme as well, however, there is going to be a need for a raising of personal standards. And I don't mean talking about things in a yuppie materialistic way. This isn't about artificial empowerment just to feel better than. When I talk about raising of the standards, it's talking about raising the standards of the quality of the energy that we keep. I think of actually a talk that I had with a friend of mine about that very thing. If what you were looking for were to walk into your life, inside and out, would it be received well by you, your environment, and all around you? And that's a question we have to ask ourselves, because everything that we do still reflects our entire life. And the way, the way we keep ourselves, the way we keep our home, how we treat ourselves, how we give things love, now, of course, everything is to be expressed in a unique way. You don't have to go and make sure that everything is a carbon copy of something out of Better Homes and Gardens or a magazine anyway. No, absolutely not. But the question is, does it look and feel like you? And more importantly, does it look and feel like it's supposed to your creation? As for news and arrivals, we have the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. And the Eight of Pentacles in reverse is indicating, yes, there are going to be some things that we need to assess that are not working as it relates to possibly some social connections, platonic I'm sensing, uh, that are not actually panning out the way we thought. Most likely a reassessment of the social company that we keep as you've probably heard me say time and time again, our, you know, our, the company we keep manifests our environment. The, the in-group contributes more to our reality experience than any out-group ever will, and it's important to pay attention to what is actually transpiring in those circles. The Eight of Pentacles in reverse is indicating possibly the news of somebody dropping the ball, a circumstance being mishandled, or perhaps something that has actually been um, delegated poorly, or maybe even something that's not being handled with the right care, will make you understand exactly what is going on when it comes to some of the social spaces we invest our energy and our trust. Pay attention to this. This is drawing to your attention something that needs to be changed, something that needs to be altered. It is not something to be taken personally. You don't have to search for justifications. In fact, with the Eight of Pentacles in reverse, this could also be a sign that sometimes we have to know where to rearrange, I guess you could say, our social environments or our projects, especially when we are not getting necessarily the return or we are getting exactly what the other person or all involved is able to contribute, and if it's not complementary to the experience, rearrange it. As we get down to business, material and wealth, we have the Page of Cups upright, and it does look like someone or something is trying incredibly hard to win you over, and it looks like whether this is happening in the form of a material gift, money and wealth, or possibly something professional that will, of course, depend on your personal experience. The World Card Upright is indicating as well, along with this Page of Cups, that this is actually something new, something being added to your immediate circumstance to transform it into something completely different. With the Page of Cups, this could be something that is courting you that you may not necessarily completely understand. The first move is going to basically be made in such a way where you can tell that this job, this opportunity, or whatever uh, material concerns you have is trying to flirt and seduce you, but it will be done in a way that is honest, wholesome, and genuine, so feel free to ask whatever questions you want. Make sure that you are being discerning, 
Ask the questions you need to. That's why I said that. Don't assume. Okay. So, there we go. Just have to, you got to make sure. So moving on to love and relationships with the Three of Cups. Upright, it does look like new friends and maybe new social surroundings is just what the doctor ordered when it comes to an existing relationship or maybe even for those of you who are, you know, available. And I'm actually feeling that this is not, of course, going to be a sweep that's going to somehow displace all of your friends and you're going to have to start from brand bank and new. But the Three of Cups is talking about some kind of alteration to your existing social life or social patterns that becomes advantageous in the pursuit of love, or perhaps even something that creates a more love-friendly environment that is even going to enhance the quality of an existing relationship. Because I am seeing more of an adventurous and a much more rewarding social life providing all of these things at the same time. There's a cornucopia of good fortune coming here because with the Three of Cups upright, we have more people being actively involved. We have more people stimulating not only conversation, but also stimulating the drive for adventure, bringing in a lot more support to our relationship or our pursuit to a relationship. Yes, setups are also highly likely during this time. Let this displacement work for you. So that is what I've got for you Cancerian people. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You all know I appreciate it. And of course, if you ever wish to get a session with me, you do need to go to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com.